caught me in the middle of preparing for a solo competition. I've entered into the Macmillan Pipe Band competition. Uh, it's an online competition, so I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be great. But seeing as you're here, I wanted to get you involved in my, my practice session, how I go about preparing for my solos, uh, how I get the music into me, how I get used to the music. Uh, and so kind of wanted to bring you guys along for the ride, give you some idea of, of what I do. So first off, I like to listen to the music. You know, I've already picked out my set. It's the same set that I, I played earlier in the year. So I'm already familiar with it. But I, I really want to understand all the the nuances and the mechanics behind the snares and understand how the pipes are, are playing and what they're accentuating. And so being a drummer, I like to also learn the snare side, understand where their roles are, where their accents are, and what they're bringing out. So I play the snare part. I listen for those accented and dynamic parts of the music. Then, my next go around, I will play the bass section. But on my snare sticks, it really helps me pick out you know, those accented and dynamic notes. And then finally, I will transition that same bass music that I just played on the snare sticks on the pad, I will transition that to my bass drum. Um, I will then work in my flourishes. Now, I've already got a set of flourishes that I've, I've memorized so I can pull those out. Uh, so I'm going to jump back to the music um, and practice a little more.
And so there, that's how I work my transitions in. And that's how I practice my flourishes. That's how I improve practicing that over and over, making mental notes of where did I mess up and recording myself. <clears throat> I can go back and I can review that recording and go, ooh, that looked bad. And yes, there was plenty of stuff in that run that was wrong, but I'm trying. I'm working on my solos and I'm improving and I'm gonna get feedback from those judges that's gonna help me improve. So I hope Today has brought you some information. Um, you know, I recommend everybody finding one or two solo competitions throughout the year, whether it be online virtually or in person at Highland Games. Go and find something and just compete. It's not gonna be perfect, but you're getting that feedback from the judges, from the people that know what they're talking about. And getting that information is so important to all of us, tenor drummers and bass drummers alike. Thanks again for continuing to watch my videos. Click like and subscribe below if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time.